Now, we're joined on the line now by uh, Adam Woods, Beef and Suckler's editor with the Irish Farmers Journal. Adam, the Mart sector here, the Livestock Mart Centre here, has gone online with the Farmers Journal support. Yes, Vincent, uh, COVID-19 has changed work practices in many industries, and I suppose agriculture is no different. And, and Mart is a good example of that, how the change in the last couple of weeks. Uh, I suppose to the new age of selling uh, and, and implementing online selling systems in Marts. Marts have been closed, for want of a better word, since the 13th of March, with very restricted with the areas for selling. Uh, but online selling has allowed farmers uh, not enter the Mart and bid from the, from the, from the comfort of their own homes. So it's, it's, a, it's a big change for, for, for Mart systems in Ireland. Now, we've seen a lot of, situ- uh, of, of auction situations uh, going online because of COVID over recent weeks and months, Adam. But I, I would have thought, and I, I grew up on a farm myself and I spent long, cold, lonely hours in Marts. <laughs> but I would have thought that, it, particularly in terms of livestock, it's, it would be very important to actually view the animals themselves, get a look at their, all their hindquarters and all that kind of thing. How, how can farmers do that online? Absolutely, Vincent. I guess what's happening in March around the country that have implemented online sales, there's a viewing time in the morning uh, and some farmers will have people will say maybe go to the Mart and view those animals for them and, and ring them back and say, well, yeah, you can bid on this one, you can bid on that one. But I think from an efficiency point of view and possibly from a seller's point of view, I spoke to a farmer last night in Kilkenny who dropped off calves in Kilkenny March yesterday morning um, at nine o'clock. Uh, he watched the sale of those calves online at half 11 and just rang through to the Mart on his tractor. He watched that. A sale. He was happy with the price. Rang through to the mart, um, and that was the sale. Sale done. Whereas before this, that farmer would have had to maybe wait around the mart uh, for a couple of hours uh, to see was we'll his calves being sold and, and sell them. So from an efficiency point of view, from a seller's point of view, and also from from some online purchasers' uh, point of view, they, they they have chosen not to go to the mart, and they feel that they can they can make a good judgment call on those animals uh, in terms of buying them online. Now, a, a number of Mart uh, and Mart groups around the country have already signed up to this, and, and you're hoping that more will soon, Adam. Um, could, could, a, could a seller of livestock sell at a number of different Marts online? Yes, um, with, uh, and, and there, there are uh, numerous Marts around the country with the sale in Ballon Road today. Um, and yeah, um, any, any farmer with the wishes to go to any Mart in the country um, can, can, can sell in, in any Mart online. I guess since Monday, it's, it's an important step for Mart. Uh, farmers have been allowed back around the ring again and, and we've seen a, a large crowds come to marts again. Social distancing uh, has been implemented in a lot of those marts and yes, buy-in has taken place around that ring again and I think that's important that, that we will say have, have that area as well. Maybe for older farmers who don't want to move online that that option is still there to stand around the ring and bid in the traditional way. Speaking of bidding in the traditional way, I would have thought one of the pieces of information, a farmer in particular, because they're curious people, a farmer in particular would like to know is uh, who's either bidding against him if he's buying uh, or who's actually bidding for his stock, particularly if they're local. I presume he or she won't get that information from, from their computer screen. No, and it's actually it's, it's a little bit of an advantage there because it maps, it was down to the years, Maybe there's some people maybe that will say put in their hand to call the next animal maybe and say, I'm buying this one. And anybody that's familiar with going to Mart will see a lot of that going on. And maybe a little bit of bullying around the ring as well will say maybe some shouting saying that I'm going to buy the next one, I'm going to buy the next two animals, you stand back. But online selling has actually done away with that because at the moment farmers don't know who's bidding for stock. So, so it's taken the power away from some of those people. So it's actually a more fair and transparent system for a lot of farmers. And, and this is a free service for farmers, Adam? Yes, absolutely. We'll say farmers can on, can log on online, and we've seen it's a sort of a it's it's a new pastime or a new hobby for a lot of farmers around the country um, to watch these sales happening on smart TVs. I guess farmers in the past, if they've cattle to sell, they'll go to a mart to gauge the trade and to judge the trade, and uh, maybe for a number of times before they sell their animals. But now they can log on to, to farmersjournal.ie or market.ie, watch the sale for for a couple of days before they're going to sell their cattle, and they'll be able to get a good gauge of the trade on that. And yes, a completely free service. Anybody can log on and watch the sales. And I, I presume the next stage is that uh, farmers could be paid electronically online for, for, for their stock if they're bought. Yeah, and, and that, that is happening. A lot of marts have implemented that strategy in terms of uh, online payment. So, so we'll say in terms of uh, lodging checks, um, that, that's, that's the thing of the past at the moment. So, so a lot of marts have, have implemented that system. So uh, another innovation brought in because of what we've gone through with COVID over the last three months, but one that's very definitely here to stay, you believe? I think so, yeah. I think we'll, we'll always have that traditional, we'll say, buyer uh, around the ring. But I think this is an important move for Marts, I guess, as an industry maybe that has been slow to implement technology over the years. And I think for young people, uh, maybe to bring it forward to that next step, 
I think it's really, really important. And I think as well, March should use this in a little bit of advantage of there's less people maybe going down through the layerage. We've seen issues with health and safety in the past and we've seen very high insurance premiums uh, with March that, that have struggled, we'll say, to, to cope with that financially. And I think this maybe gives them an opportunity now in terms of more efficient systems with, with maybe no sellers going down through the layerage. They'll be able to use this to their advantage in terms of getting insurance quotes in the future. Okay, interesting story. Uh, that's Mart Bids there, set up uh, in association with the Irish Farmers Journal and a number of Marts around the country. Adam Woods of the Irish Farmers Journal, thanks for taking our call this morning.